Studying history is to examine people and events from the past and to examine the mistakes, victories, struggles, and achievements that came before our time so we can learn from them. A lot can be remarked from the history of our country's homosexual communities fight for freedom and equality. After the dreadful events on the night that had occurred on June 28, 1969 at the Stonewall Tavern Inn, the gay rights movement has taken on a huge responsibility of working to certify that the discrimination and unfair treatment of the American gay population is put to a stop. They and many other heterosexual citizens are fighting for the rights which they strongly believe and they deserve. So isn't it also our responsibility to pledge that all men are created equal in our country? From our sources, Freddie Tree states the following. It wasn't discrimination. It was hate because they thought it was a disease that could spread. And if we catch you and vow with a homosexual, your parents are going to know about it first. And you will be caught. Don't think you won't be caught. Because this is one thing you cannot get away with. This is one thing that if you don't get caught by us, you'll be caught by yourself. And the rest of your life will be a living hell. Homosexuality was highly unaccepted in many states located in the United States. One state accepted homosexuality. That was Illinois. The only way for this to happen was to participate in private known gay bars. Employees has kept gay bars on a secret base level because they were either homosexual or they supported gay rights. However, the secret was not hidden well enough. The police has routinely located gay bars throughout the United States, and they have also shut down the gay bars. Little did the police know, one gay bar wouldn't give themselves up without a fight. Gay people were denied rights as well as many other resources available to heterosexual patrons. They were not allowed to dance, socialize, or be allowed in public areas. In 1973, homosexuality was considered a mental disorder. Parents believed that they could be changed. This was by going to therapy. In the 1960s to the 1970s, major families have brought their gay children to therapy. The parents have thought that this was a way to change homosexuals into heterosexuals. Very few did change, although a vast amount of homosexuals did not change. Researchers now realize this is something therapists cannot mend. This is an environmental issue that is affected by the people involved. On June 28, 1969, on 53 Christopher Street, the start of the gay rights protest was created. Police have claimed to seal gay bars throughout the city of New York while covering up the reason behind it. This reason was serving liquor without a license. The police had gone into the bar and demanded identification. The Stonewall Inn was not going to give up. They had demanded. They too should deserve the rights the heterosexuals have. From our resources, we have interviewed Fred E. Tree who states the following. I kept my life secret from all the ones that I met. We all hid it from families and other friends. Even at work, no one knew. Discrimination came when I went to the village for the first time, met new people. Homosexuals who were inside the bar took part in the riot. They snuck out of the police's way and towards an available exit to escort them outside. From the outside, there the commotion had started. Gay people had began to light trash cans of fire while the police had to escort them. Eventually, this fight had become intense because of the brutality towards the police and the gay men and women. The police had began to arrest citizens because of what they had worn or because of the destruction they had caused. Homosexuals decided against it. They had hurled bottles, cans, beer, glass, pennies, etc. During the several nights of the riot, many people had fought alongside with the homosexuals. Heterosexuals had taken part in this riot along with many other riots that had seemed to take place in New York City. An estimated amount of a thousand people had fought back the third night and many more contributed the following night. One riot took off on Sheridan Square area in the Greenwich Village. A group of homosexual men furiously came out of an inn which was furiously raided by the police. The police raid rushed down to Sheridan Square area and tried to gain the mass of men to settle down. If only they knew, the police was the cause of this. There were some policemen who supported and helped gays, but couldn't do anything about it. Although many police did hide gay men and women, 
Without the others acknowledging their help and support, there was the good and the bad. On the following Saturday, the riots in New York City has winded down to a halt. Thirteen people were arrested while four policemen were injured. One has suffered from a broken wrist injury while the others came to be unclassified. This has led up to many more organizations to be formed. One of the many was the Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender Organization, also known as the LGBT Movement. The LGBT Movement is supported by allies, supporters, and also sponsors. This organization is still here today and is strongly running up to help put discrimination towards gay men and women to a stop. On June 27, 1970, the first gay pride parade had taken place off the curb of Stonewall Inn. Here, homosexual people were free to express who they really were. Homosexuals did not have to contain the guilt eating at them because of how local citizens observed them or classified them as. But this didn't stop people from discriminating gays on their special day. Policemen threw items at the patrons who contributed along the parade. They labeled them as fags, but the contributors did not let it get to them. They just drove through the street with the rest of the people who supported gays. Harvey Bennett Milk was the first openly gay person to be elected public office in 1977. The Harvey Milk Foundation was created to complete his dream. His dream was for equality towards all lesbian, gay, transgender, and bisexual. He believed for excluded patrons to fully participate in public activity. He believed in keeping the phrase, all men are created equal. Although discrimination still happens, there is one particular strike that still occurs since 1955. This is identified as the West World Baptist Church strike. These strikes were organized to come to your front door, step, and explain the reason to why the close relative has died. Phelps and his nine children out of 13 children went along with him as well as many other families. They would say, God hates fags, or either not blessed, just cursed. This still happens throughout the country, claiming their dead relative as a fag for being homosexual. The greatest thing to happen since his gay marriage, we received many rights, but that came very slowly. It was hard to come out in the early days, being accepted was mostly done by family and friends. States Freddy Tree. The economy today has accepted homosexuality little by little, yet it has progressed. Today some states allow gay marriage to be legal while others ban transferring homosexuals into heterosexual therapy. However, states are still debating on whether their government should allow gay marriage or not. On May 17, 2004, Massachusetts has become the first state to allow gay marriage. Because of this, it has produced the lowest divorce agreement in the country between 2003 to 2008. The divorce rate has declined 21% during the years given. Soon after, many states began to accept gay marriage. Whether or not homosexuals are still considered as a disease, gay people want one thing the most, as Fred E. Tree states. There is a lot more we can do and hope the state, government, and individuals can accept us and what we should stand for, quality. The riot has taken place has sparked the gay rights revolution. Piece by piece, homosexual people were allowed rights to which they deserve, but the Stonewall Inn took responsibility into their own hands. Our journey is not complete until our gay brothers and sisters are treated like anyone else under the law. For if we are truly created equal, then surely the love we commit to one another must be equal as well. And I can't change Even if I tried Even if I wanted to